Hello viewers, welcome back to another episode of Electric Drive Africa. Today we're talking about fuel cell electric vehicles, specifically the Toyota Mirai. Toyota released its second generation Mirai on December 9, 2020, making it available in Toyota dealerships globally. However, some regions may not be able to access the new Mirai because of one feature. The Mirai is hydrogen powered. The drivetrain is comprised of a fuel cell unit that works through a chemical reaction created by oxygen and hydrogen coming together and churning out electricity. Hydrogen produces no carbon and can be manufactured from multiple sources, from petroleum and natural gases, as a byproduct of chemical waste, or from resources with no use such as sludge, sewage or brown coal. At Electric Drive Africa, we only support the production of green hydrogen from electrolyzers powered by renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and geothermal. Japan has made massive investments in the hydrogen sector, and in March 2020, they opened the world's largest green hydrogen plant. The hydrogen from this plant was said to be used in the Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games to power the flame, the torch relay, official vehicles, and the athletes' village. The Japanese government has set a goal to achieve net carbon neutrality by the year 2050. One way to achieve this is by doubling down on their environmentally friendly offering for the vehicle market through promotion of BEVs and FCEVs. Hydrogen can diversify power sources and is being promoted in Europe with governments intending to make large-scale investments particularly for commercial vehicles. The Mirai has sold more than 10,000 units globally. The first FCV Mirai was launched in 2014 as part of an effort to popularize the use of hydrogen. The FCV was extremely popular but failed to deliver on adequate supply. The second generation Mirai comes with a newly developed fuel cell unit that boosts efficiency and increases hydrogen storage. Now, the Mirai has some very cool features. Most notably, it produces negative emissions. This means the more you drive the Mirai, the cleaner the air becomes. The Mirai expels water instead of harmful gas fumes, which can all be measured on the display on the dash. Another cool feature is that it acts as a backup. As many of you know, Japan is prone to many natural disasters that cause power outages. The Mirai can power a standard Japanese home for up to four days in the case of a blackout. All this makes the second generation Mirai that much more efficient than the previous version. Prices for the new Mirai start at 49,500 USD, which is pretty steep for a sedan. However, the car can recharge in under 5 minutes and has a driving range of 850 kilometers. What do you think, viewers? Is hydrogen viable for the African market given the cost of producing it and the lack of infrastructure on the continent? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next one.